Welcome to another tutorial by WebNewbie.com. Today's tutorial we're going to cover slicing and dicing uh, up this uh, website I've created in Photoshop and placing it into Dreamweaver. This is a pretty simple way to create a website. Um, lots of people are doing it. Everybody's doing it. Why shouldn't you do it, right? So what I've done is I'm in Dreamweaver right, or Photoshop right now. Uh, I just put together some really crappy looking website here, yourwebsite.com, with a couple of uh, so-called buttons, and uh, yeah, just some text there, and some nice little stars that I found there, and if you go down, um, you got the copyright down the bottom with the uh, footer. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this layout, we're going to slice it up into little slices, and uh, that way when we export it, and put it in a Dreamweaver. We can actually uh, make Photoshop, or, yeah, Photoshop turn all this into an HTML file that we can just open up in Dreamweaver, and basically your website's done. So in order to do that, uh, after you've created your site in Photoshop, we're going to go to our slice tool right here. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, if we click and hold, I'm going to show you two different options here. You got a slice tool and the slice select tool. Uh, the first thing we're going to use is the slice tool because that's what we're doing is slicing. And uh, after we're done using that, I'll show you the slice select tool. So uh, we'll go to the slice tool, and I am going to go to the top up here. If you can see my cursor, I am going to just pick what I want to slice out and make individual images to place in the Dreamweaver. Uh, right now I sliced out the top part, the entire green, uh, where your website.com is located. That is going to be one piece, one slice of my website. And then I want to turn these into buttons right here, the home, about us, and contact us. We're going to turn those into buttons. So in order to do that, I'm going to slice them individually. So I'm going to take this slice right here, and I'm going to cut it off about right they're stopping just in the middle of home and about us. As you can see, the slice did not come out uh, correctly, and I'll show you how to fix that here in a minute. Uh, then we will do the same for about us, and I'm going to put it right between about us and contact us, and we'll do it one more time for contact us, and uh, give it a little bit of slack there. And as you can see down here, I don't know if you see this little blue line right here, but it's actually creating separate slices for me automatically. I've got two more slices, right, one right here and one right here. That's because there's extra space. It's just guessing where I'm going to create another slice and, and leaving it at that. I don't want those slices there uh, right now, and I'm going to change that really quick. I'm going to go to the Slice tool. I'm going to the Select tool, and this is how I can change these. I'm going to select this slice right here, the Home slice. Now I can take these little... Uh, boxes that are on the outside of this uh, highlighted area and I can drag them up to fill in the spaces that uh, weren't filled in before and I'm going to select the about us section here and I'm going to fill in that top portion select the contact us section and fill in that top portion and uh, what that's going to do is uh, change these other slices right here to uh, uh, make it uh, well I guess just better uh, we're going to go back to the slice tool again and I am going to slice out this first section right here, uh, about halfway in between the white spaces of the other uh, gray boxed areas. And I'll slice that. And I'm going to slice again right here, the second box down below with a little bit of white space there. And I'm going to slice in the third box here. And then we'll do the footer right after that. Um, Take the footer and there we go. Uh, I need to go ahead and use the slice select tool again to click on this slice because it didn't go all the way over to the left side. Move it over there, take this slice, move it over uh, to where it is flush with the left side there. Now, as you can see, we've got one slice down at the bottom for the footer. Here's just a white space slice. Um, you can have that in there as well. I just didn't want to carry, uh, make these uh, slices uh, right here too long. I've got a slice on the right hand side, this one right here, this one, and I've got individual buttons made up at the top here along with the header of my website. Now each one of these individual things are labeled by numbers here. And if you double click on one of your slices, it's going to open up this uh, options section here. And it 
what we're doing is we're creating the slice type, which is an image. We want all of these to be images, uh, except for maybe this white one right here. We don't really care for that one to be an image because an image is just going to slow down your website. So we're going to create that one as a uh, no image when we get there. Right now I want this header to be my image. And it's, so that way I can distinguish which slice is which instead of just looking at untitled 101. I'm going to actually create this one as my, excuse me, I'm on caps locks here, uh, header. And uh, then I'll click OK. And I'll double click on the home button here. And I want it to be an image. And I'll make that my home button. Uh, the about us button, I want it to be an image. I'll make that about us. This is just labeling uh, your slices. That way when they get sliced out uh, into images, you know exactly what uh, slice is what. Uh, this is the contact. Uh, so I'm sh I'll show it to you a little, in a little bit here after I get done slicing all this. This is just going to be, uh, we're going to call this the gray title bar. Um, say right. Make it to the right of those buttons. Uh, here, right here is your uh, first content. We will just title it. You can use any kind of title you want on these things. I'm just making stuff up as I go. Uh, second content. And I'm going to call this one my third content. Now I'm down to this white space right here. I don't want to take up uh, load time on our website because, I mean, sure it's only going to take up like half a second or so to load that little white space, but we don't, we don't want to waste that half a second. No sense in doing that. I'm just going to create a no image there. And what that's going to do is uh, it's going to create, I'm actually, I'll show you when we get into the HTML. Uh, this was the no image white space. Uh, it's going to actually type this into this white space for me. We can delete it when we get into Dreamweaver, but that way we just know that that's where uh, it is located. And I'm going to double click on the footer here, and we will label this the footer. Now that I've sliced each individual slice out, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is we want to save this, and we are going to go to File. We're going to save for web and devices. I've sliced each individual slice out. I've named them all. I've labeled them all. And now we're going to save it for web and devices.